Hi everybody, I'm John Graydon from Empower Kickboxing and the Martial Arts Teachers Association. I'm here to demonstrate to you the single most neglected movement in all martial arts. But first, let's make sure we're on the same page. You tell me, does this look like a safer recovery position than this? Would you agree that when you throw a punch, the longer it's extended, the longer you're opening targets up and the longer your opponent has to grab your arm and do something with it? Three, would you also agree that once that arm is extended, there's not much you can do with it defensively or offensively unless you're, <laughs> you're gonna try and slap the guy. So that leads us to the single most neglected movement and it's this watch very closely the punch is extended that's it right there you'll be amazed how many fighters fight and sparring and leave the hand out there so this is the technique Pow! the quicker you can recover the safer you will be the longer it takes for you to recover the less safe you'll be. So it's critically important that you teach your students to recover. So that is the move, whether it's any kind of punch, boom, 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 boom. This is a guard. This is not. This is not. This is a guard. Protecting my flanks, as opposed to this, as opposed to this. Protecting my head and quickly returning to protect. So the, the goal is an effective defensive recovery. Boom, snap that hand back. This clip has been making the rounds because it ends in a pretty dramatic fashion, but I'm gonna contend that it ends in a dramatic fashion because neither one of these guys have any defense. You're going to see as they strike, as they punch, that the hands do not recover, except in one punch it does recover, but it recovers to the wrong spot. Let's see. Back fist, reverse punch, face block. Ooh. Good punch, but his other hand's on his hip. And he pulls that hand back to his hip. So he ends up blocking with his face. That's not recovery. That's not defense. You have to learn how to block. Just to be 100% clear, I was a point fighter for years. And I was just like these guys. Throwing the deadly blow punch. Screaming and looking at your hand and shaking it. I understand that's part of the sport. Still, the inability and the neglect of not pulling the hand back is all I'm pointing out here. You're going to see guys way off balance and, and not in defensive postures, but that's not what we're looking at. <laughs> this is classic. The hands don't come back. They, they're stuck out there like they're in the middle of kata. Punch. And he just stands up, mouth wide open, and pulls the hand back to his hip. Look at that dramatic slow motion shot. That's pretty cool. Now what I'm pointing out here again is, do the hands recover to guard? And no, they don't. The ridge hand stayed out there. The reverse punch didn't even drop it to his hips. Let's watch it again. Maybe if he pulled his hands back to guard, he wouldn't have got clocked right there. That is not defensive recovery. Again, watch the hand recovery. That's the focus. Though it is guy jumping around, it's pretty entertaining. The back fist just fell. These punches all drop. They don't come back. If nothing else, they just fall. Like gravity pulls them down. Where did that go? Where did that come back to? Look at these hands. That's what we're looking at. They're not coming back. They're, at least they're not coming back to a guard. They kind of fall to the hips. <laughs> Is that Ed Parker saving the day? Okay, this guy is running into the fight again. Leaning back, hands down. against the guy who's hands down. Back fist stays out there. Reverse punch stays out there. Other reverse punch stays out there. You do not see any defensive recovery. And even though it's point fighting, it would make sense to snap your hand back to fend off the counterattack 
and then fire again. But instead, they leave their punches out there just like they were executing kata. Where do this guy's hands go after punch one, punch two? They go above his head. <laughs> that is crazy. That's not a fighting position. And that's where they get these bad habits from doing traditional basics, where you leave the hand out, the other hand's on your hip, and it translates into this. Remember, this is the death blow fighting stuff. The reason it's point karate is because each blow would kill somebody. I can't believe this sport still exists. <laughs>